What is the mystery behind the hanging coffins of China? How do you investigate and address a culture that has not only faded into historical obscurity but has been purposefully eradicated from history? Their language, architecture, and culture were all wiped out in mass destruction. You can begin by looking over whatever remains of them. What remains of the Bo people are their hanging coffins. Ancient and contemporary burial customs from all across the world are an intriguing exhibition of cultural diversity. These demonstrations of respect for the deceased span a wide range of religions, lifestyles, as well as natural settings. Monuments as opulent as the Great Pyramid of Khufu or as sad and divisive as the Tibetan sky burials speak to the innermost beliefs of a people and an individual about their role in the larger cosmos. And more can be learned about a culture by the way they treat their deceased than one might initially imagine. The Bo people are not exceptional in this sense, but their handling of the deceased differs significantly from most nearby groups in the area most of which still practice conventional burial. The sad reality is that not much is known about the Bo people. Prior to the Ming dynasty, they are known to have prospered. Many of the ethnic minorities who were residing on the periphery of the Chinese country at the time were treated as tributary kingdoms and were headed by tribal chieftains known as Tusi. As long as they acknowledged and paid respect to the Nanjing-based central government, these chieftains and their tribes would be given some degree of autonomy, later Beijing. One of these tribal ethnic groupings was the Bo, albeit little much is known about them or found in the copious bureaucratic writings of the Chinese. The Bo people, who previously lived in the southwest mountain valleys but are not mentioned in written history, are now the stuff of folklore. Locals and soldiers from the Ming dynasty claimed that the Bo people could fly, referring to them as subjugators of the sky and sons of the cliffs. The only actual remnants of the Bo's material culture are the hanging coffins and the artifacts kept inside. There hasn't yet been a thorough investigation of these tombs. Two formally documented research on the Bo coffins, however, have been conducted. Six coffins that had fallen from their cliffside resting sites were uncovered as part of the first of these examinations in 1946, which was also the year in which they were recorded. In 1974, ten previously unstudied coffins were taken from the cliffs and put under scrutiny. This was the second examination. David Graham reported in the 1930s about recovered coffins that had skeletons and silver bracelets among the personal effects of the deceased, making his account of the bow coffins one of the first non-Chinese literature about them. The locals thought that keeping these things would be unlucky. The researchers made a point of observing the various attire worn by two distinct classes of persons in the graves among the coffins examined between 1946 and 1974. Commonly, only one layer of uncomplicated clothing would be included at a funeral for a lower social class. One coffin from the 1974 study had 29 layers of shirts and 13 layers of pants and burials for higher classes frequently included numerous layers of clothing, with a single body typically having six to ten layers. The highly ornate clothing discovered in the upper class graves is artistically similar to murals seen in caves, burial grounds, and mountain strongholds utilized by the bow. Researchers looked at 103 garments from these stuffed animals, only two of which were made of silk and the rest of which were the loose fit of the clothes suggested that the bow would have found them beneficial for horseback riding. There are 22 known bow hanging burial sites spread out across Sichuan and Yunnan in southwest China. The most well known of these is referred to as Matongba or, in English, the Hemp Pond Valley. In 1992, Wang Haoman, one of the most well known writers on the hanging coffins, led an expedition there. A furious river is 300 meters above cliffs in a place named Da Shaoguan. A narrow horizontal depression with a number of bow coffins is located halfway up this cliff. 
the team and the aforementioned 2008 documentary trip by the China Exploration and Research Society and Discovery Channel was unable to get to these coffins at Dashaguan, even with the assistance of modern technology and skilled mountaineers. The documentary expedition looked into reports of 12 hanging coffins at a location called Long Magu in northern Yunnan. Upon arrival, the team discovered seven caves that might contain both skeletons and coffins. Bamboo scaffolding was built to access them, and climbers used it to descend to the higher caves. Two of the caverns included wood carvings and other human traces but no coffins. Hanging coffins are not unique to the Bo people and can be found throughout China. Perhaps the most impressive of these is within the famous Yangtze River Gorges, where 200 to 1,200 year old coffins can be seen shoved into small horizontal crevices on an otherwise sheer cliff down to one of the world's largest and most formidable rivers.